Hey there, and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I am unboxing an arts and crafts subscription box. So this is a subscription box and it says it is customized DIY craft kits delivered to your door. Paid for this myself. It's something that I thought would be fun to explore. And every month they're gonna send me a new box of some sort of arts and crafts geared towards adults. And I can then go ahead and try something new. And, and you guys know by now, I love to do arts and crafts. I love to get creative. And this is a great way to introduce me to some new things. And along the way, I may learn some techniques that I can carry over to some of my favorite crafts. This could be dangerous and that I could find more addictions like I have with quilting and soap making and everything else. But you know what? Let's give it a try. So let's open this up. I cut this and I tore off the shipping label just so you didn't see my address. But other than that, um, I have not gone in here. I don't know what's in here at all. So let me open this up and we will see what's in here. Oh. Okay, so right up, and let's show you what this looks like. That is how it comes. It is a Shibori and Classic Tie-Dye Kit. So we have a tie-dye kit, and this is the instruction, so they printed it all out for me. So what's included, we have an indigo all-purpose dye, color safe fixative, rubber bands, craft sticks, wood squares, cotton napkins, a cotton tote bag, tin pans, gloves. So what I will need to provide, um, washer and dryer, plastic bag, optional dish soap, sink and stove, and salt is optional. So let's dig in. Okay, so we have a little reusable tote bag. It's kind of thin. It's very thin, actually. I mean, you can see through it pretty well here but I mean for a reusable bag you know this works it's not super expensive but it works we've got I've got three popsicle sticks here um this okay so we'll open this up we have all right so we've got Rit dye and we have Rit color say dye fixative so I, all the dyes I use for my dyeing of fabric is a little bit higher quality than RIT. I, um, Dharma Trading, Dharma Supply Co. I think it's, it's Dharma Supply Co. I think is what it is. Um, they have the best dyes. I do a, a lot of dyeing with them. This is okay. This is kind of what I, if you compare it to makeup, which I do, um, this is drugstore quality makeup versus high-end luxury makeup but it's still not bad it's I actually like a lot of this kind of like drugstore type stuff when you're learning a technique learn with the cheap stuff and then get the more expensive stuff after I've got some wood coasters wood squares here I don't know what these are for yet um, I've got a giant bag of elastics it is an assorted size, but this is a lot of elastics here. If you can see, it, there's a lot there. We have rubber gloves, and my guess is these are going to be way too big for my hands, but still good to have. And you'd rather than be big on someone. I have rubber gloves for myself, and I just have teeny tiny hands. All right, three more popsicle sticks for six. And then we have, this must be... These are the cotton napkins. Okay, so we've got, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, six. Six napkins. So, and they're, they're cotton. They're stiff. They're not soft, but after some washings, that should be pretty, you know, I should be able to work through that. And then I have two pretty deep roasting pans in here. So, okay, we've got the roasting pans, two of them, two here. We have six cotton napkins. We have two wood squares, which, okay. 
So it looks like what you can do is use this to create a technique where you wrap the fabric in a square. You kind of fold it in a square and then you wrap rubber bands around it and that's gonna create a shape. So they're, they're giving you this tool. You've got the gloves, so that's good. Um, no hairnet, but I don't always use a hairnet with this kind of stuff. We have, this is eight fluid ounces of indigo dye and eight of the Color Stay dye fixative. So let's take a look at what this ingredient is here. If it tells you what it is. This is, I'm looking to see because I am familiar. I, I dye fabric, as you can tell. Um, I'm looking to see if it says what the ingredients are. And this is, it doesn't really say what's in here. I'm guessing this is like a center pole, which is kind of the ingredient that you see in the um, the color catchers, which I use those all the time when I am washing things that are very much um, could bleed. So that's great. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look into this to see exactly what this is. I'm guessing this is just center pole, which I have um, some of that as well. And this one doesn't really tell me, so directions, it has directions in it, but it doesn't really say what's in here easily. It just says all purpose dye. Huh, I'm gonna have to do some research on these. Okay, I just got on a sidetrack because like I said, I like this kind of stuff. So we've got the pans, the napkins, the wood blocks, the gloves, the dies. We've got six popsicle sticks here, which it looks like that is for just stirring. And, and I'm just looking at this quickly. I'm sure there are a number of uses for this. We have the cotton bag and we have a giant bag of rubber bands. So this kit runs about 30 to $40, depending on the subscription that you get. So. That's not that bad. I think I did the three month subscription and I had a coupon code. So I was able to get this for about $30. So six napkins, that would be five bucks each or so, plus the cotton bag. Not bad. I mean, you're learning the kit, you've got the experience. I'd say there's definitely some good value here so far. Um, I will probably give this a go and then I will report back and let you guys know how it turned out. So stick around. All right, so I have six napkins and one tote bag. So napkin, 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 tote bag, napkin, napkin. And I'm doing six different techniques for each napkin based on a video that Adults and Crafts Put out there for me on the different techniques which I'll link to in uh, the below. So I've got six different napkins. I think I'm excited about this one was the biggest pain in the butt and the one that I'm the least looking forward to but it should be interesting. This one actually has um, popsicle sticks in it. This one is a spiral. These are kind of circle inside out, triangle, and then a square with the um, little wood pieces around it to see what it looks like there. So um, I am going to get my indigo bath ready and I'm gonna soak these in. I'm gonna do the longest time that they recommend, about 20 minutes, because I like a darker look. So I will let you guys know how it turns out. No, I did pre-wash these, so I washed and dried them uh, in advance so that I can make sure I get the full color fastness out of this. So let's see how they turn out. Okay, I have my napkins and everything in the dye bath here. And I will say, I wish the pan was a little bit wider or something, because I've got, I have to kind of layer the fabrics on top of each other. And then I'm having to kind of push them down a little bit. I've been flipping and rotating this one. Um, so I wonder if it's just the pan, if it was wider, if it would be better. But then it'd be, you'd have to ship it in a different way. The noise you hear is I've got my tea kettle warming up because in this container, I am going to be adding in the fixative, the one that's going to help it to set and have the color stay. So, um, yeah, so far, this has been a good 
project. I'm excited to see what it looks like. Well done instructions and we'll see. So stick around. All right, this is the end result of the dyeing, the indigo dyeing shibori that I did for the adults and crafts box. This one right here used those wooden squares I showed you. This one I kind of did a circle die. This was a spiral. I used a whole bunch of elastics to create some bunches and did that one. This one used some popsicle sticks, which was really cool and different, something I hadn't seen before. This one I folded it into a triangle, so that's why you see some different shapes there. And here's the tote bag, and I did the kind of circle design here. And then I pulled a fabric from my stash. This is a fat quarter that I did in a spiral. And you can see how you can read some of the Asian um, print here that you have, but it dyed with it. So one of the things I wanted to do was see how that dye worked with fabric that I prepared to dye, and that was pre-washed, which the napkins were, and ready to dye. And then there was this one that I just pulled out of my stash, and there it goes. So I wanna see how this one would dye. The other thing I did was I put a couple of color catchers. You can see these here used in the wash. These have been washed in the washer and dryer after I use them. So I've put them in and these color catchers got a lot of indigo out of it. Uh, it's something that I would highly recommend when you wash fabric that has been hand dyed. And what I did was I also put a uh, color catcher in the wash, which has nothing in it for the next wash in case there's any indigo left in the washer. But for now, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Again, I paid about $30 for the box, paid for it myself. Um, there are some coupon codes out there. I don't have one myself, but if I find one, I will put it in the comments in the description below for you guys to see. But overall, this was a fun little project and I'm excited to see what I get next. So stick around and stay tuned.